Water cycle. The water cycle is also known as hydrologic cycle. It is a natural process that describes the continuous movement of water through the Earth's atmosphere, ocean, lands, and living organisms. These water cycle real aspect of physical geography as it influences a wide range of natural phenomena and human activities, from weather pattern and ecosystem to agriculture and water resource management. Uh, some key stages of water cycle are number one evaporation the water cycle begins with the evaporation of water from the earth's surface primarily from the ocean but also from lakes river and other water bodies as the sun heats the earth's surface water molecules are converted from a liquid state to a gaseous state and rise into the atmosphere Number 2. Condensation. As the water vapors rises into the atmosphere, it cools and condenses into clouds. This process is facilitated by the presence of particles such as dust and pollutants in the air that serve as a nuclei for water droplets to form around. Number 3. Precipitation. Once the water droplets in the cloud become heavy enough, they fall back to Earth's surface as precipitation such as rain, snow, sleet, or hail. Precipitation can occur anywhere on the Earth's surface, but is most abundant in areas with a high level of atmospheric moisture, such as tropical rainforests and coastal regions. Number 4. Infiltration Once precipitation reaches the Earth's surface, it can either be absorbed by the ground or flow over the ground as runoff. Infiltration is a process by which water enters the soil and is stored as groundwater. This process is influenced by permeability of the soil and the slope of the land. Number 5. Transpiration Transpiration is a process by which lands Plants absorb water through their roots and release it into the atmosphere through their leaves. This process is influenced by factors such as temperature, humidity, and soil moisture. Number 6. Run off. When precipitation exceeds the soil's capacity to absorb water, it flows over the surface as runoff, which can contribute to erosion and flooding. Runoff can also carry pollutants and sediments, which can have negative effects on water quality and aquatic ecosystem. Number 7. Storage Water can be stored in a variety of forms, including in glaciers, lakes, rivers, and groundwater aquifers. These storage reservoirs can play an important role in regulating the water ability for human uh, activities and natural ecosystem. In summary, the water cycle is a complex and dynamic process that influences a wide range of natural phenomena and human activities. Understanding the various stages of the water cycle is essential for managing water resources, predicting and mitigating the effect of natural hazards such as floods and droughts, and maintaining the health and productivity of natural ecosystems.